Hi, here's the next Blender add-on programming tutorial about operators and properties. I will show you how to register your own custom operator and how to interact with your Blender objects using properties. Here we go. In the last tutorial about Blender add-on programming, I gave you a kind of skeleton to get you started using Python to code Blender add-ons. We added this uh, view 3D panel and I will reuse this code now to register a panel for the tools region. This will be activated in object mode and there is a category. I set this to a name. This is JNM. You can use any name that you like and we will import again the types, the classes that we need to register the panel and I told you I want to register a custom operator, so we have to import the class operator. First, I want to extend the draw method by adding a row. And in this row, I want to print out the current scaling of the selected object. The goal is to create an add-on with that I have the possibility to scale the object in X, Y and Z dimension and to apply the scaling that we did in object mode by pressing a button. So first let's create a new row in this panel and then get the selected object. For example, in this case it is the cube. And after that, let's display the current scale of this object. Therefore, I create a string variable. I write string scale equals object. Then I concatenate this with the name of the object and the scale for x, y and z. You can just use this scale property of the object and cast this to a string. Then I write this into a label of this row. Text equals my string scale variable. That's it. What is missing? Of course, we have to register the class, the view 3D panel, and also to unregister it. So let's do this. BPY, register class. View 3D panel. That's the name of the class. We can just use copy and paste and the same for the unregister. BPY, unregister class and the name of the class view 3D panel. That's it. Almost because the right syntax is of course BPY utils register class and BPY utils unregister. Okay. And this should work now. We can give this a test run, run the script. And here is a new tab, JM. And we already see the scale of the current object. And when we change this, press S key and scale this object, you can see that the values are changing. Because every time I change properties of my selected object, the draw method is executed and the changed values are reflected in this label. Okay, nice. And now I'm going to register a custom operator. The purpose of this operator should be to apply the scaling that I did in object mode for the selected object. Okay, what do we need for this operator? Of course, our own class. And as we learned, classes could be derived from base classes. So as a view 3D panel is derived from the class panel, this custom operator is derived from the class operator. It needs his own ID, 
the BLID name, could be any name, I use my dot scale and a BL label. And let's use my scale operator for example. Panels have a draw method when they are drawn. Operators have an execute method when they are executed. Take two parameters, the self and the context. In this operator I will execute the code to apply the scale for an object. This operation can be executed by writing bpy.ops.object.transform underscore apply. And then you can apply the scale, rotation or location. What we want to apply is the scale. So we add scale equals true. That's it. And now another nice method to report that our operation is executed. It is reported in the info panel. You can write self.report info and then your string you want to write out. Like that. Small correction. OK. And then we return that the execute method is finished. So right, finished and we are done with this custom operator. That's all, but of course we have to add the operator so that we see the button for scaling or for applying the scale in our panel. And that's also very simple. Again we have to create a new row, row equals layout dot row, calling the row method. And for this row, we will add our custom operator, row dot operator. And then follows the ID of the operator. This is my dot scale. Then text. For example, apply scale and as we know we could also register an icon and I looked up the string for the mesh deform modifier which kind of fits for this operation. Okay, save this out but there's still something missing. The code seems to work but we don't see anything. Yeah, of course, we have to register the class, the scale operator class, and also to unregister the scale operator class. And when we run the script now, you will see that there's a button that we can press, apply scale, and now let's scale this object in object mode, and you see how the values for x, y, and c are changing. And when we press the apply scale button now, Bam! The scale is applied and the values for the scale are reset to 1. But there's one thing left I want to show you and this is interacting with your object by adding properties. Properties for scale x, y and c. Again, let's add a row and the scale property in x direction for the x axis. We write row.prop for property, then the object, the selected object. The property name is scale and we want to affect the x-axis. And this is the first index. We have three indices. Zero means x-axis, one means y-axis and two is the c-axis. Okay, here it is. We can change directly through the control in our panel the X scale of the object. And now let's do just the same copy and paste for Y and for C axis. Index 1 and index 2. Let's change the text to scale Y 
and scale Z. And look at this. We have three controls to change the scaling of our object. And after scaling, apply this and all values are reset to 1. So I really hope you like this tutorial. It was the next step in Blender add-on programming and we will continue, I promise. Please subscribe to my channel with this link and please support me on my Patreon. I uploaded the whole project to this location again. Thanks a lot for watching and see you soon here on my channel.